right? Because that's a big thing, isn't it? Because we have such a big market so close by. Exactly. And Sri Lankans mm -hmm. have this opportunity because we can relate to their market. It's not a completely Easily. foreign market either. Exactly. But I, what I see a little bit is there's a lot of traditionality in, let's say, fashion in India, for instance. There's a lot of, the, the styles are very Indian. Mm -hmm. Is there something like, I know there's a few brands that, you know, let's say Lobel Sarang, so I don't want to mention too many brands, but mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. the idea is that there is a way of taking a, something that's very Sri Lankan and promoting it internationally. That's probably the route that we should be taking, isn't it? Then, rather than mimicking something that we see abroad. Exactly. So, so like Sarong is interesting way because Sarong has different interpretations around the world, right? Exactly. And some call it lungi, some call it something else, That's right? right? Now, but how do you interpret it? How can you make it relevant to that place by styling it? Right. So, so styling it is very important. So, uh, and what we really uh, tell designers in Sri Lanka is that don't mimic, create an identity. You know, because Sri Lanka being an island nation always had more trading opportunities than India had. So influences came far more easily into Sri Lanka. So when it came, you were able to embrace, uh, you know, ex um, influences. So with that, you were able to create your product different than what uh, what Indians would do. Yeah, okay. Right. So and that could find uh, acceptance in India because it is relevant and yet different. Mm. So, so, so there's a way to go about it there. Okay. Um, just to finish off, I wanted to ask. Um, we talked about Sri Lanka's economic collapse and one of the consequences is the brain drain mm -hmm. where you have a lot of people from various industries going and I assume a lot of artists who are people who are talented, people who already have made yeah. some brand here, they are probably moving abroad for, you know, for, for greener mm -hmm. pastures. Uh, what would you be your message to, to them? And, uh, yeah, <laughs> that like we really suffered through, with, through this because a lot of our people left, yeah. right? So the idea was, uh, I've, been, I've also changed my whole narrative in the last two years. I'm really pushing hard on, we have a design college called uh, College of Fashion and Design, uh, CFD, uh, which is owned by a club of fashion, the CFW, owned by CFW and SLITI, you know. The idea is that we are saying, okay, let's go beyond just design in terms of creating. Let's have a design mindset. Let's push for design entrepreneurship because when you have design entrepreneurship in a society, uh, suddenly the young kids or the younger ones find opportunities and hope in creating uh, their new, new ventures. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what Silicon Valley does. You see, it has a design mindset. It has a, uh, anything with design gets launched there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happens is just like, a, it's like a creative space where they feel energized to launch something. So if we do this here, design entrepreneurship, that's what we're pushing for. It's a, it's a good chance that the brain drain will reverse mm. because say uh, you find uh, greener or you, you, uh, you perceive that there are greener pastures in say Dubai or places like that. But if you look at it, they're not so green, mm. right? Mm. Because what you need there to launch a brand or launch a venture or, uh, or you know, do something, you, you have it here as well. Yeah. But uh, you haven't, we haven't held it together and encourage them to say, hey, just do it because I know how many people left for overseas. I don't think hundred all of them are happy there. Exactly. Right? Only probably 30, 40 percent are happy. Rest are still saying, oh my God, okay, I came because they, they jumped on a trend That's to right. go. That's right? right? So when he, if I wish if I had this platform, uh, say two years ago or the other one two years ago, we would have really hammered hard on design entrepreneurship, which would have kind of given them little encouragement to start new ventures, projects, you know, like little hope that I could do right. more here. Right. And that is the best way to reverse brain drain in any country. Okay. So aside from that, do you have any other advice for Sri Lanka's policymakers in terms of <laughs> arts and culture and sort of trying to send them the message that this is a very important part of uh, our, our country and it's important for our country's future? Exactly. I think policymakers really should appreciate that art and culture should be one of the leading leading drivers. You, you pick up any country in the world which is doing well currently, pick up any I challenge, all of them have art and culture at, at a forefront because hard power is very hard power is very difficult to achieve. It needs uh, aggressive amount of money, budgets to do it. Soft power uh, is uh, is subtle, but it is impactful because it just increase, starts increasing the influence day by day, right? So, uh, so like I always say, people think that Mumbai is, uh, uh, is a Bollywood city, right? But I look at it very differently. Mumbai to me is a soft power capital of India. Right. So you have Bollywood, connected to Bollywood is the food, then you have the producers, the artists, the musicians, Music. the filmmakers, everything. And everyone think of, you think of Mumbai, you don't think it's a commercial capital. You first think it's Bollywood, right? And you, and you, you consume the product of, of, that, of that city, which is the soft power capital of India. That's my perspective on that. So it's time we build soft power in Sri Lanka. And the platforms that we have created are the other ones that are completely dedicated on enhancing the creative value and also the, also the, the soft power. Okay.
I'd say thank you very much for being on Insight and thank you all for all your work that you've done and good luck with uh, Fashion Week and the Sinan Literary Festival as well. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you.